Okay, let's take a walk through here. It's pissing down with rain. I don't know how long this is going to take. Might have to split this video up. Also, if people come, I might have to pause. To, might not want to be on video. Someone's been here to this memorial, put new lights up, should look better in the dark but they're on, yeah, well mate I don't know who you are but you're loved, rest in peace, someone was here burning candles they weren't here yesterday when I came through okay so at least we know people still come for that good okay that's part of a haven't and South Downs College complex it's obviously closed because it's New Year's Eve and it's closed anyway it's a Saturday but close for the Christmas New Year holiday. I quite often walk this way at night as a shortcut from where I live to Bedhampton. Um, so I thought I'd do it in the daylight in the pouring rain. make a video of it because it's a, it's a nice book. Good oak. It can get a bit slippery underfoot. So if I do slip and fall that's going to be a funny moment for the for YouTube, for you lot. Of course I'll upload it. Just try and make sure it don't happen. There's a path going off that way look. To, big electric pylon for those of you that like that sort of thing I know some people do there's a website for it not my thing but I just think if we all like the same things there'd be one item that's well loved and everything else would just be neglected and hated I don't know what's happened here, they look a little bit. I don't think they've struck my lightning. Obviously, you can cut. But the original tree might have been struck by lightning. And we do have thunderstorms here sometimes. That path goes off to the back of the college and then across a field, which I have gone that way before. But in this sort of weather at least we get some sort of shelter by the trees not a lot and the wind's blowing as well which isn't very nice at the moment it's coming from kind of behind me there's another path into the field Let's go around that. You can see that the ground is a little bit soggy in places. More sort of broken trees there trunk laying on the side, it's obviously come down the top of it, someone probably took a, a saw to that.
like it. Of course, whilst wood is not a great conductor of electricity, when it's wet, which is, and they're always wet inside because of all the water they drink, that's a great uh, conductor for electricity. So when there is a lightning storm, of course, the tree is a, a target. That's why you should never stand under a tree in a thunderstorm. Here's another one that looks like it's exploded. Can you tell me? There's the top half of the tree. Another puddle that I've got to avoid. Oh look, there's a stream. And we're now going uphill. And this water is clearly running downhill. Don't know if you can see that. Just a bit closer. You can kind of make out. Uh, who cares? <laughs> Let's just avoid it. If I can. So we've now done a, a right turn, so we're now walking sort of towards the weather as it were and climbing a gentle rise as well as avoiding puddles. The traffic noise you can hear is the A3M which runs from Bedampton to London, well it goes as far as Horndean and it becomes the A3 and goes all the way to South London and the other way it will eventually get you onto the A27 and then into Portsmouth or to Haven, Fair and Brighton, whichever way you want to go really. I'm assuming you don't know where I am, some of you might. If I peer through the gap in the trees you can kind of glimpse bits of the motorway. The car's going past. There's that field where those paths led into. It is a shortcut because there is an opening along here somewhere. We might have passed it or we might not have, um, where it comes out and that is a shortcut across. And on a nice day, that's worth taking if you're in a hurry. But on a day like this, where the ground's gonna possibly be boggy, best avoided. That's where that path in the field comes out, but you can see the state of the ground. Look, let's go and have a... Yeah. When you look at the sky, that is... Completely. And of course any water that's on the trees is being shaken off by the wind now. So we're getting a little deluge as we walk under trees. And it's not actually raining out in the open. So. Well it is raining a little bit. Anyway. We're coming close to the end of this walk. What happens here is we take a left. It's nice they put a crash barrier there, I'm not quite sure why. 
because look, it's not even a proper road. It doesn't go anywhere. Well, and there's a more footpath there, but I'm going this way because this is the way to Bedampton. And we go over this bridge. Another pylon to it. There's that pylon we walked past earlier. There's the A3M in all its glory, that way and that way. It's amazing how close some people do drive to each other in these conditions. They don't really leave a lot of brake resistance, do they? Bedampton, namely Scratch Face Lane. Well, this is actually called Scratch Face Lane as well. Yes. Lots of little footpaths going through there that are unofficial. Don't know about this side. There's that pylon. Not really quite sure why it's there. Is there a substation here or something? Because these cables just come down to there. They end there. There doesn't appear to be any equipment. So I don't know where they go. They must go somewhere. And now we're into the realms of like people's houses and that, so. nearly the end of our walk because we're actually on to concrete now or tarmac so a proper footpath there's a gully to the right which has got water in it has it it should have it's been raining enough it's a sort of stream full of leaves there is water in there whether it's running or not it's supposed to there's lots of little streams like that around here and I spy a dog walker. So what I'm going to do, because that's that bollard is the end anyway, I'm going to end it here. I hope you enjoyed that walk with me. And uh, see what happens in the future.